The Bridger Teton National Forest has been filled with people today looking for these shed antlers. Local News 8's Braden Wilson fills his onion on how it went. People rushed into the Bridger Teton National Forest hoping to find some hidden gems. They got up early to find the prized antlers. I think this was a good year to look for deadheads. Um, especially with all the elk still on the refuge. Maybe the ones that were up here didn't make it. I was super stoked. I came across the first one and I knew that the second one had to be close. So I just kept looking and found it. Well, the elk numbers were kind of down outside the park this year. So we knew it was going to be a little tougher, but we did okay. We got a couple. Josiah here got his first elk horn. Many were in the forest for the first time and some came away successful. It was an experience. First time doing this, the Jackson Hole. Well, it was an experience and had my kid with me and he did good. He picked up quite a few. Sounds like I haven't got to meet up with him yet, but I talked to him on the phone. I just wanted to do it once, so see what it was all about. I was so stoked to be able to come. My parents came here last year and I just, I had to convince them to let me come with them. Some had big expectations and were maybe a little disappointed. I was pretty stoked for the one big one. As far up in the line as we were, we expected to clean house or pick up a lot more than we did just based on years past. But with the weather and the snow the pack this year, a lot more elk shed on the refuge. As we were talking to the biologists, they said up to 75% of them shed on the refuge. But overall, they say it was well worth it. Even if I didn't find anything, it's just all about the experience. It was fun. Super worth it, just being here. It's so beautiful and beautiful weather. Always something fun to take home. I think this one's going to go just uh, somewhere on the ho in the house, um, on the wall, maybe top of the garage. Many hope they will be able to come back again next year. In Jackson, I'm Braden Wilson. Okay, so as a reminder, only Teton County, Wyoming is open to antler hunting. Uh, the rest of the state will open May 15th. Idaho does not have a shed antler hunting season, but does close down some areas for winter ranges.